Antonio. So this is my boy Antonio. All right, yes, sir. And two days ago, my beautiful, precious wife turned around. Antonio, I'm going to show him your knee. Was tickling him, and she found right here. You can see that little lump right there. This one doesn't have it, and it's here. It doesn't hurt him. It doesn't bother him at all. But you can see it right there. So, of course, we get super nervous. Antonio, does it hurt? No. No? Does it bother you at all? No. Did your leg get tingly sometimes? It just creep it out. Yeah? Does it tickle sometimes? No. No? Okay. Well, that's good. And we just came from an ultrasound, and I'm going to show you the pictures. So, at this point, my wife's freaking out. Um, there's a soft tissue mass on my boy's uh, posterior aspect of his knee. She gets on the internet and starts searching and of course she finds terrible stories of kids who have an asymptomatic lump on their leg and so being something really bad. Uh, the first thing we need to do is figure out if this mass is a solid mass or hard tissue or fluid filled sac. And if it's a fluid filled sac then the, the, the risk of that being something bad are very very low. Um, if it's a solid mass, then it could still be something benign like a lipoma, which is a fatty tumor, or even a, a soft tissue swelling from a sprain or something like that. But if it's solid, then the risk they are higher. And then we have to do studies to make sure it's nothing cancerous. And, and in kids, this could be a presentation of sarcoma, rhabdomyosarcoma, and different kind of soft tissue bone tumors that present with asymptomatic or painless lumps. So the next step is an ultrasound. I'm going to show you the pictures and discuss through it. Okay, so we're done with the ultrasound. At this point, it is fluid-filled sac, so I'm feeling pretty happy. I think we're done. It's just a popliteal cyst or a Baker cyst, but the radiologist report says it's not a simple cyst. It has that little septation or some, something on the lower part, which makes it a intermediate complexity cyst, and he's recommending an MRI for follow. Uh, an MRI would look at the, all the soft tissue and will better define this lesion problem with an MRI on a three-year-old is that they need to stay still for 40 something minutes in a tunnel so we're scared uh, we're gonna have to sedate him and give him medication and um, get the study so stay tuned I don't know what's gonna happen with this all uh, we're praying that it's something benign and we trust in the Lord that it's just gonna be a, a simple Baker cyst but we have to make sure so uh, next step is to go to the pediatrician and get that MRI ordered and go and get it done so stay tuned. See ya.